what's the biggest difference between a dialogue recording that sounds like this and one that sounds like this? It's not my voice, it's not the microphone, it's all in the mix. So today I'm gonna show you how to use the DXB channel strip to get a nice, polished, punchy, professional dialogue sound from a film, a podcast, a live stream, a commercial, whatever it is, this is how you're gonna do it. This is a plugin that I created because I have a, a pretty specific use case, which is dialogue recording. I am a dialogue editor, I am a re-recording mixer, and as much as I hate to admit it, I'm also a YouTuber. So I needed a tool that could give me basic EQ, really nice transparent compression, DSing, and safety limiting all in one plugin. Let's just listen to what it does. I'm gonna play this raw audio, which is unfortunately me, you're gonna hear me a lot in this video, uh, and we're going to show what this plugin is doing and talk a little bit about the controls. And before I start, this plugin is for Pro Tools, but it's also VST, VST3, and AU. So these are all Mac for now, uh, but I've tested it in DaVinci Resolve. I've tested it in GarageBand. I'm sure it works in, I don't have Nuendo or Cubase, but it's platform agnostic as far as what software you're using. Here's the raw, I'm gonna bypass the plugin. We're gonna listen to this recording. Mic check, one, two, microphone testing. This is an audio test of the DXB channel strip. This is a dialogue focused channel strip. That's probably enough of that. Now let's unbypass and listen to what the plugin is doing. Mic check, one, two, microphone testing. This is an audio test of the DXB channel strip. This is a dialogue focused channel strip with basic EQ, RMS compressor, DSer and a safety limiter chain. This is a test. Unique New York. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. You can see I was playing with the makeup gain there. This plugin is almost impossible to clip. You're not gonna easily clip the output stage. I've even tested this on gunshots and haven't been able to clip the output stage. So why is that? What makes this plugin so special? Let's look at the different sections here. So to start with, you have an EQ section with a high pass, low pass, and this crispy high frequency gain. I increase this because for a microphone like this Shure SM7B, the high end is just a little flat, and so I end up boosting that a lot. And that's one of the reasons I made this plugin so that I could do it without having to add separate EQ compressor, DSer, and limiter. This is four plugins in one. So this is going to raise the high shelf to get that crisp sound and I'll show you. Mic check, one, two, microphone testing. This is an audio test of the DXB channel strip. This shelf is around six kilohertz, which is what I found to be the best, uh, the best frequency setting. It's got a really gentle slope, so you're not getting a lot of resonance at the cutoff point. And it's just a nice way to add that crispy high end that really makes something sound professional. You can also roll off the low pass. If you want more of a classic film sound, you can roll it down to like 10 or 12K. I like to leave mine at the factory default, which is 15 kilohertz. But high frequency boost combined, combined with the low pass frequency is a really nice kind of secret weapon that re-recording mixers will use on films to get things bright, but not harsh. And that's really the key when you're mixing dialogue. So compressor setting, uh, you can see I, I in, the playback, crank the makeup gain, and it still sounded pretty transparent. I'm also, I'll just play it again and, and mess with the threshold and ratio to show you that with an RMS compressor, you can really get aggressive with the settings without a lot of pumping. Mic check, one, two, microphone testing. This is an audio test of the DXB channel strip. This is a dialogue focused channel strip with basic EQ, RMS compressor, DSer, and a safety limiter chain. This is a test, unique New York. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Compression is one of those things that's a little hard to hear. It takes quite a few years for your ears to pick up on what's happening, but hopefully that showed you that the compressor is very transparent. Uh, it doesn't really pump. It just makes things sound fat and compressed, and it's great for voiceovers. So if you were working on like a radio spot or a TV ad, crank the ratio up, you know, bring the threshold down, really get things crunchy. Um, and, you know, you can also 
adjust the attack and release settings for different languages or speeds. Like sometimes people speak very slowly or very fast. And so you'll want to adjust those. The other nice thing is there is a dry wet control. So if I adjust this. Mic check, one, two, microphone testing. This is an audio test of the DXB channel strip. This is a dialogue focused channel strip. That way with, you know, 44% dry wet mix you're still getting that compressed sound but it's mixed in with the raw sound which has the effect of bringing up the low volume stuff and leaving the louder stuff natural so it's it's kind of like you know for film or a tv show it's a really nice control to have next we have the de-esser this uh has one interesting thing which is the threshold actually the lower you pull the threshold the sharper the Q is on the filter. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, we're just gonna play this and I'm gonna mess with the threshold frequency and amount controls. Mic check, one, two, microphone testing. This is an audio test of the DXB channel strip. This is a dialogue focused channel strip with basic EQ, RMS compressor, de and a safety limiter chain. So by cranking the amount, you can get some really, uh, I would say, not harsh DSing, but uh, aggressive DSing. And I included this because instead of just a set and forget, I I want people to use their ears with this plugin. I really want um, people to adjust things to where they sound good. So keep that threshold at the factory default to start with and then uh, adjust the amount up or down. I tend to not use a ton of DSing when I mix because un unless, you know, it's a really harsh voice just because it is one of those things that can be fatiguing to a person's ear. So use the DSer with a little bit of caution. And then finally in this chain, it's not anywhere on here on the controls, is a safety limiter. This is a proprietary multi-stage limiter that makes it to where you can't really clip the output stage on the plugin. We're going to try, though. We're going to try to clip it real quick with this voice. Uh, so let's start cranking these controls. Mic check. One, two. Microphone testing. This is an audio test of the DXB channel strip. This is a dialogue-focused channel strip with basic EQ, RMS compressor, de and a safety limiter chain. This is a test. So that is super hard to listen to. <laughs> it's like hurting my ears like an ice pick. But there was no clipping. We didn't clip the output meters and Pro Tools. We didn't clip the output on the plugin. And I did this because while people have limiters that they like to use, I really don't want to have four different plugins on my dialog bus if I'm just trying to get through a mix. You know, if I'm doing a YouTube video or an ad or something where, you know, I, I need to get through it in a reasonable amount of time. This plugin is going to help me do that because it has all the things I need right at my fingertips with an EQ, compressor, de and a safety limiter that I don't have to mess with because it's just set and forget. You know, it's it's hard coded into the plugin. So if you're looking for a channel strip that is built for dialogue, whether it's YouTube or a TV or a film or a podcast or streaming or uh, audiobook even, this is such a simple tool to use. It's very affordable. Uh, and it's something that I made because I wanted to kind of give back, you know, this is something that I want, I want to use a, a Swiss army knife, that sounds great. And especially the compressor on this, I'm really proud of how it turned out. So check it out. It's on my website, I will post a link in the video description. And uh, let me know what you think. Also, if there's other ideas for plugins, that you guys have, I made this, you know, uh, and basically free time that I had. And I, I think I'm going to do more plugin development because it helps solve a problem that I have, maybe other people have, that nobody is really looking at. So I have a couple ideas, but any ideas you have, drop them in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions about this, I'll be happy to answer them. And thank you guys so much for your support on my channel. Uh, thank you guys, especially the testers. I had a bunch of people testing this. Thank you guys for the input you gave me. It really helped me polish this up. And then special thanks to a, a guy named Ilya who helped me with the uh, GUI and the licensing, which I couldn't really figure out. So, you know, there's some things like the DSP 
and how it sounds like I'm all about that. But once you get into the nitty gritty of uh, certain aspects of coding, it was just beyond my ability. And he really did a great job helping me finish this. So thank you guys for checking this video out. And, uh, and like I said, drop any comments below. I'll have a link to this in the description. Check it out and let me know what you think. Till the next video, I'll see you then.